is going on everyone this is the crow 20 coming at you with an update on the gears of war video um by the time this video is up i would have already made the video about hyping up for gears 5 and the gameplay for the alpha test will be up as well in which case this video will be also be up the same night tonight either tonight or tomorrow night i don't know exactly when it'll be up but i just wanted to inform you guys i'm here at my local gamestop and i finally just picked up my copy of gears of war 5 and i'm really excited um there was a lot of people today like i count maybe up to maybe 40 or 50 people in just one game step according to some friends who are going to the one uh near the mall they apparently have like over 200 people and the lines so yeah i luckily got to my game stop and they're these guys these know me they know me pretty well so they're pretty cool people uh they hooked me up in grim four so i got to be up there a little bit quicker than usual uh so don and zach if you guys are watching this video shout out to you too you guys are great you guys got that line down real fast so keep up the good work. Thank you for getting me my copy. So I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little peek at Gears 5. Look, this is the cover for the outer layer. Just like Gears, just like in uh, uh, Mortal Kombat 11. We got the back side, which has like all the stuff. You got the Ride or Die logo. You got the Map Builder, Horde Mode, Escape, and Versus. And of course, the campaign that comes with it. We're going to go ahead and pop this baby open. Show the inner layer. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is some beautiful artwork. I don't know who made this, but wow. That's nice. It's even got the cog on it. Wow. That's really nice. That's top-notch quality right there. Totally worth $80. All right, so we got the plastic off. Gonna open this up. Oh, there's my Terminator Dark Fate add-on. That's what I'm talking about. Damn. That's going to be We got the Terminator Dark Fate Halo Reach character pack. 30 days boost and a 14 day trial for Gears of War pass all, or the Xbox Pass Ultimate. Oh, that's pretty nice. I didn't know it was going to come with that. Uh, let me see what else is in here. Dude, that my night's been made. I got some designs that has been all over the internet of Gears 5. These are like the coolest little pictures that came with this totally. Oh, just, I, I'm just, I'm blown away. Honestly, these are like amazing. I would definitely get this tattoo on my body if I had room gotta say with the $80 that I spent on this game and getting what I've always what I've been mainly just freaking out about which was the Terminator and Halo Reach of course and Batista but uh yeah but this this has been the main thing I've been really wanting out of this entire game so yeah for $80 for the Ultimate Edition if you guys want to get the full-on Gears of War experience I highly recommend you guys get the Ultimate Edition for sure so yeah uh that was a uh pretty nice to open that up i this is my this is my second ultimate edition for a game that i've gotten so i'm very happy that i'm going to be getting like the exclusive dlcs and stuff like that uh for gears 5 this will be my first gears of war game actually that i've gotten an ultimate edition i never got gears 4 ultimate edition i never got anything ultimate edition in the gears franchise unfortunately i don't know if you can call it the ultimate edition a, a special one but I guess not either, but uh, if you do, I mean, great, then that means I got one. But uh, this was definitely worth $80. I'm so happy that I get to fucking put this in. We're going to have a great time. And yeah, I'm super stoked for what's to come later on for this entire series. I've been playing Gears of War since I can remember, and I can't believe that we're here at the fifth game. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this unboxing, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next campaign gameplay video. And fast forward to the future, we have now another addition to the Ultimate Edition of Gears 5. And I will be giving you guys the review of Gears 5 because I've been playing it for a couple days now, but this is not the time for that type of video. Today, I've already unboxed it and made it on Facebook, unfortunately, I'm sorry. But I'm going to do a fake unboxing or a re replaying unboxing of me opening the <sighs> Mark III Lancer from Gears 5. Uh, which also comes with a crimson skin code, so I can use this in the game. So I'm really excited about that. But yeah, we're going to open this up and show you guys what it looks like in person, and possibly even put batteries in as well. Alright, so right here, this is where the code is. It's behind this nice little piece of paper. I actually like this little nice piece of paper. I'm going to probably keep this frame somewhere. So yep, that's where the skin, that's where you get the code for the skin, and here is the mother load of it all. The MK3 Lancer. And it's got all kinds of cool features. A giant mega you can just take out yourself. 
It's also really hard to put back in, so bear with me, I'm sorry. There you go. So if you want to know how to take it out and put it back in properly, you want to take it out by pulling it slightly this way and then doing the same exact thing but the other way while you put it back in so that way it stays in there, like so. And then this is the switch, I believe, to turn on the sounds, uh, which is really cool, or it could be the safety, which is actually a feature in Gears of War. This is the safety key. Then you got the uh, loading ammunition key right here, and the chainsaw handle, which goes up and down. And for what I've read online, it makes sounds when you use the handle and you push it upwards, it makes the chainsaw sound effects. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, we're gonna definitely pop some batteries in this because the batteries apparently are really complex and complicated to put in. So I have to go read the instructions. Okay, so I found out that um, you have to unscrew the battery compartment, which here I'll show you what it looks like in case for those who got this and don't know how to do it. Um, so put this back in here if I can. Yeah, no, so it turns out I can't put it back in without having to re-screw one of those screws, but pretty much the battery component is this giant black thing inside of un under the, uh, right next to the chainsaw and the grip. So you gotta take out this screw and that screw in order to access it. Once you've accessed it, it will reveal the battery pack, in which case you have to unscrew another screw and then re-screw all the screws. Fun. God damn screws. I think you'll have the hardest problem with unscrewing the main screw to the battery pack, honestly because it does not want to come out. There we go, much better. And now we insert the batteries. Final piece. I screw it back in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a moment of truth. Let's see. Oh! Oh, snap. Wow. Wow, look at that. Holy crap. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, that is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Gross! So 
there you guys have it. The Crimson Red Mark III Lancer unboxing. And I got to put in the batteries in with you guys so you guys can see its glory. That's it for this video. That's super tight, dude. Like, wow. I wonder if, like, I don't know if uh, earlier I heard a pop because I was trying to put the, the, the gun back in with its foam. <coughs> so I hope, God forbid, this didn't, like, break or nothing. But, yeah, there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed. If it also helps you out with wondering how do you put your battery in, I'm glad that this helped you out. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.